In this video I'm going to explain how to set up SimTools. Before I start, uh, I want to acknowledge the incredible work done by Dustin uh, on the forums known as YoBuddy, uh, who wrote this software supported by um, forum members like Value1, Pit and Norbeast who have tested versions of SimTools and also wrote game plugins. There are many different use cases for SimTools, so this explanation will be focused on a motion platform with six degrees of freedom, which uses Arduino controllers with Sabertooth motor drivers. However, the explanations can be applied more generally to other configurations. I'll cover the following aspects. What is SimTools and how does it work? Where do you get SimTools from? How much does it cost? how do you install SimTools. In part two I'll cover setting up communications between SimTools and the game and between SimTools and the driver, setting the access limits and assigning degrees of freedom to each axis. And the final part will cover testing access assignments using the tuning centre and using the game manager and creating profiles. If you've seen the software overview video I produced a few weeks ago, you will find some overlap with the following explanation. The difference between the overview video and this series will be the demonstration of how the settings change the behaviour of the actuators, which for brevity wasn't shown in the walkthrough. If you haven't seen the walkthrough, uh, you might like to watch them first, so you get an overall picture of how everything fits together. I'm going to assume in this video you only have one Windows based PC with an operating system of at least Windows 8 and you want to use SimTools with an Arduino running the SMC3 sketch. I'll follow this video up with another one concentrating solely on the Arduino and SMC3. If your situation is different from these assumptions you will need support and advice from the friendly guys over at xsimulator.net who are keen to help you get started, but there may be enough here to get you started anyway. The link for X Simulator is... What is SimTools? Uh, SimTools was designed to extract motion cues from game software and process them into a series of commands suitable for controlling motion platforms. Uh, SimTools can support over 100 racing and flight simulation games and can control different motor driver boards such as SCN, Arduino, JRK and Simax. New games are being added from time to time. So how does it work? Very briefly, uh, the game you want to play must be patched by a plugin through the SimTools game manager. Uh, plugins can be downloaded from X Simulator for a small fee. I'll show you how to do this shortly. Once the game plugin has been installed, it detects motion cues from the game in response to changes to the joystick position, and the result is the aircraft or car moves. The forces caused by the change are read by the plugin and sent to the SimTools game manager, and then onto the SimTools game engine. The magnitude of these forces on the motion platform can be adjusted using the tuning center. The SimTools game engine sends this information serially through the USB port. The Arduino reads the packets on its USB port and sends the motor commands to the motor driver via its serial link. Once the Arduino has commanded the actuator to move to a set position, it looks for feedback from the position potentiometers to determine whether it has reached the desired position or not. Other interface boards such as SCN, JRK and Simax work in a similar way. So how much does it cost? Well the DIY license I have is restricted for private use. If you've other use cases then it might be worth creating a post on X Simulator with your question so you can make the right decision about which one to buy. It's most likely though that the question you have has already been asked by someone else in the past, so spend a bit of time paging through the threads to see if your question has already been answered. The DIY license is $49.99 US, which is a one-off payment, and there's no annual fees or charges, and you can get the 
license from here. To qualify for a free license, you must be active on the X Simulator forum for at least 30 days and you have started a build thread giving details of the motion platform you're building. Each request for a free key is considered uniquely based on its merits and you can apply for a free license here. In any case, you still need to download SimTools and you need to do that after you create uh, an account on X Simulator. You also need the plugins for your favorite games. If you have been active on your X Simulator build thread, you simply use some of the virtual coins you receive when you post comments in exchange for game plugins. You could try using SimTools with um, Live for Speed Racing Game, uh, which SimTools supports out of the box without having to get any extra plugins. Uh, Live for Speed demo version is a free download and it's available here. You get plugins from X Simulator here. Once you've downloaded the SimTools zip archive and the game plugin, you're ready for the next step. Don't unzip the plugin files. SimTools looks for them as a zip archive. How do you install SimTools? Well, there isn't anything especially challenging about installing SimTools, and as far as prerequisites, SimTools needs the Microsoft.NET 4 framework, but you're most likely already to have that on your system. Right-click the SimTools uh, 2.1.zip and extract all. Double-click on the executable, SimTools 2.1.exe, in order to start installing it. Some users have reported that SimTools is reported as malicious code by a few antivirus programs, which of course it isn't. It's a false positive. If that happens to you, disable your antivirus software during the installation and licensing. Click next to continue and you can read the license agreement and if you agree, check the radio button I accept and then click next. You'll be asked to select the destination location. You will be asked to select the destination location, but I recommend not changing this unless there's some pressing reason to do so. The manual refers to this default location, so if you change it, you'll need to remember where you installed it and mentally make a note when you're reading the SimTools manual. Once you've chosen your destination directory, uh, click Next to continue, and this is followed by some options. I recommend choosing the full installation. You're most likely to choose this one because your game setup uses just one PC, and that the game and motor controllers or any other peripherals are all connected and running on this one PC. This option will install both the game manager and the game engine. At the conclusion of the installation, you will have two shortcuts on your desktop. Don't run them at this point, as they'll need to be closed to allow the registration process to run. Using Windows File Explorer, navigate to here. Now, once you've got there, don't close File Explorer as you'll need it to patch your game in just a moment. Double click on the SimTools registration executable and enter your email and the key that was emailed to you and click Activate License. Now that SimTools is installed and licensed, you will want the Game Manager and Game Engine to start when you boot your PC. Double click each one and you'll be challenged with a Windows security alert warning you that the application needs to access the firewall. It's simply trying to open the local ports it needs to communicate with the game, not trying to call home or get onto the internet. Allow Windows to add it to its approved list. If you open the Game Manager, click on Tools and select Start with Windows. And now you're ready to patch your game. There isn't any need for an internet connection when starting or running SimTools, it's only needed during the licensing process. You must run your game at least once to successfully patch it. 
If you're using Fly Inside for the VR experience with X-Plane or uh, Prepared, you need to run the game from the standard icon, not the Fly Inside icon, so you can patch it. To install the game plugin, use the SimTools plugin updater, which you'll find in the SimTools directory. Simply drag your game plugin zip archive over the updater and it will take care of everything for you. Now you're set up to start configuring the software to work with your motion platform. I'll put all the links I've referred to uh, in this video in the order I mentioned them in the description. In part two, I'll explain how to set up communications between SimTools and the game, between SimTools and the Arduino, set the access limits and assign degrees of freedom to each access. So bye for now. Thank you.